guys! Today on Honey and Me, I'm going to be beefing up the corner seals on the outside of the RV in preparation for winter. I sealed them last spring with a product called Seal Tight Corner Seal, which is like Eternabond, but it goes around the corners of the RV. You take off the trim and put the stuff on around the corners. I did that and it works really, really well, but I'm a little bit nervous because it's so wet here on Vancouver Island and I do not want to have any leaks happen in honey. So as a precautionary thing, I am going to be resealing over top of what I put on there already, as well as the trim with Eternabond. I've seen it done on somebody else's channel and he used black and it was on a fairly new travel trailer and it looked really good. Honey is kind of white on the outside and Eternabond is white. So I'm hoping it's going to look okay. I'm using the four inch wide Eternabond, which is the same stuff that I use on the roof on Honey. Come on outside and we'll get started on this project today. First things first, I cleaned the corners so the Eternabond adhesive would adhere well. Starting on the roof and overlapping the Eternabond tape I used there, I let the new tape roll hang down and unwind and I peeled off the protective film about a foot at a time and stuck the tape down over the entire corner, molding screws and all. Covering the entire seam ensures that no water is going to get in there. Now Eternabond is pressure activated, so you have to press and rub all over it to make sure it sticks and sticks well. The corners were a bit of a challenge. It was difficult to get it to mold smoothly around the curves. If you have an RV with no curves or angles to go over, you'll make a much neater job of it than I did. Because Eternabond is so sticky, it is not very forgiving. My curved seams puckered and I had to try to space the puckers out, which was difficult as the adhesive does not give at all. You can see here how puckered the bigger curves are, like around the cab over. But although it was a bit of a pain to get it on, I feel pretty confident that it will not leak. I now have two layers of protection on the corner seams and I think I'm ready for the next Vancouver Island winter.